without audio. Check. Welcome, teacher. Good evening. Hello, guys. Uh, good evening. How are you tonight? How you doing? Welcome, Anna. Welcome, um, Diana. Welcome, Flor uh, Florizia. Welcome, Blanca. Welcome, teacher. Very good, very good. Let's wait uh, a few more minutes. How you feeling tonight? Very good? ¿Cómo se sienten? Calor, ¿verdad? Calor. Pretty, uh, pretty hot, yeah, pretty hot. No, I know, I know. So hot. So hot, yes, yes. All right, let's wait, let's see. <clears throat> what time it is? Uh, okay, we have uh, six, uh, six minutes left. I mean, six minutes uh, remaining to complete the starting time. Okay, let's see. So in the meantime, uh, let me to tell you guys that I just want to make sure if you guys are are checking or be you've been checking so far your platform. All right. So quiero saber si han estado utilizando su plataforma como recordatorio, verdad? Para como le dije yo la vez pasada, to have or get the space that you need for your next model, right? So para su próximo módulo es como un requisito, verdad? Que les les está pidiendo la academia para que usted tenga su espacio, ¿verdad? De acuerdo a lo que las instrucciones que me han dado a mí. Welcome, Griselda. All right, so if you guys uh, have problems with your audio or with your uh, computer, let me know, right? Porque así no, yo no le, si, me va, si va a estar de oyente, que espero que no, ¿verdad? Pero si puede hacerlo por lo posible, pues me hace saber, ¿verdad? Para yo estar al pendiente y, y así eh, tal vez usted le estoy preguntando y preguntando y no me contesta porque no le sirve tal vez el audio, ¿verdad? Pero let me know, all right, through our meeting chat you can send me the information, all right? So you can you can send me that you're not going to be able to work or you're not going to be able to participate in, in this class, okay? So que no va a estar habilitada para participar en la clase, okay? So what time it is, four minutes, all right? And what date is today? Today is Tuesday, right? Tuesday eight or Tuesday, uh, Tuesday okay. seven? Eight. Very good, very good. Eight. 2023, right? 2000, 2000 what? 2023. 2023. Excellent. Welcome, Maria. Welcome. Very good, very good, very good. All right. And so I I I believe you guys are coming from work, right? You can are you coming from work? Uh, I mean some of you. I see that uno de ustedes vienen de trabajar, ¿verdad? Se incorporan o están en la casa a pesar de que tal vez no tienen un trabajo, pero trabajan desde casa. ¿Verdad? Porque yo trabajo desde casa. All right. So I'm, I'm working from home. And I'm asking this question just in order to have uh, some something to talk. All right, so we have three minutes. All right, let's wait for the rest of the class. We have a uh, six, eight, um, I mean seven students. All right, so make sure make sure to have your camera on. Welcome, Jaime. Excuse me. Welcome, okay. welcome. Very good, very good. Welcome. All right, so we have about three minutes. Uh, in the meantime, or two minutes, all right? In the meantime, I'm going to ask you guys, what was the la I mean, what was the topic that we checked yesterday? Who can tell me that? What was the topic that we checked yesterday? Excuse me. Simple question, simple present question. Bless you. <laughs> oh, se me fue. I'm sorry. I'm still sick. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yes, right? Simple question. Let's see. We're going to start sharing the screen. Let's see. One second. All right. We have uh, this spot over here, right? So let's see. Let's wait two more minutes. It was... um reading and what is your schedule what is your schedule like 
what's your schedule like, right? So that was uh, the topic, the last topic that we checked. Let's wait for the rest, okay? So just one, uh, one more minute. Okay, let's see. Okay, and in uh, the meantime, guys, just remember that you will be able to predict, all right, to discuss three interviews about the schedules, all right? O sea, que usted va a estar habilitado cuando terminemos esta clase para poder usted secuenciar eventos, all right? So, do you know what it that means when we say uh, secuenciar? ¿Usted sabe qué, qué quiere decir cuando es, qué quiere decir secuenciar eventos? Como poner Algo un... que se hace diario. Correcto. Frecuencia. Correcto. Ahora le pongo la pantalla. Hold on. Let me know if you can see the screen, please. Can you see the screen? Yes. All right. Let's go. The class is on. All right. Welcome back, everybody. All right. So once again, my name is Rene, and I'm going to explain, try to explain the the class that we have pending uh, from yesterday, right? So this class was uh, reading what's your schedule like. Let's repeat. What What's your schedule like? Come on, let's go. Everybody. What's your, what's your schedule like? What's your schedule like? Mm -hmm. Very good, very what's good. What's your schedule like? Very good, very good. All right, so. What? what? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. What's your schedule like, okay? So. We are going to repeat the video, but let me tell you some information uh, related to this topic. Voy a, uh, voy a repetir el video y déjeme eh, explicarle una información relacionada a este tema. All right, so remember, topic, it's, uh, let's see, English, hold on, topic, tema, right? All right. All right, so, and related, relacionado, okay. All right, so we are going to explain some information uh, about this topic related to the information that we've been checking so far, right? Relacionado con toda la información que hemos venido chequeando ultimamente. All right, so I see here that we have already uh 19 everybody's getting good evening sorry good evening uh, it's okay it's okay we're gonna pass list uh 15 minutes let me know guys or uh let's see let me know when we hit let's see 8 30. i'm gonna pass list list at 8 8 8 30 okay me avisan por favor por favor me avisan Porque así le damos tiempo a la gente que viene de trabajar, ¿verdad? All right, so, okay, let's play the video. And I'm going to be stopping the video and explaining uh, each case, each conversation, each uh, dialogue, all right? So let me go ahead and play the video. Let me know if you can hear. And sequencing events. After reading and discussing three interviews about schedules. Reading? What? Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in predicting, scanning, and sequencing events after reading and discussing three interviews about schedules. Reading. What's your schedule like? Student reporter Mike Starr talks to people on the street about their schedules. Brittany Davis, college student. What's your schedule like? My classes start at 8 a.m., so I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So, when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening, from 8 until midnight. Joshua Burns, Website Designer What's your schedule like? Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at 8. Around 1, I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Maya Black, rock musician. 
What's your schedule like? I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 5 in the morning. Okay. What time do you go to bed? Let me explain. I go to bed at 5 in the morning. And sequence and events. All right, guys. Uh, let me explain this part over here. Okay, so if you, uh, as you can see, we do have uh, three different uh, cases, right? Or conversation, all right? So let's put it like conversation, all right? All right, so we have our Brittany, uh, Brittany I'm sorry, Joshua and Maya, all right? So remember that we need to start listening, you know, uh, you, we need to have our active listening, you know, just like this, like, okay, they are talking about this. Y acuérdense que tenemos que tener el, el escuchar activo, porque usted de esa manera, usted va a entender lo que está hablando la persona, ¿verdad? Obviamente, aquí estamos viendo escenarios, all right? So that's the reason that you need to practice every day. Every single day, you need to practice, all right? So as an advice, let me tell you, uh, my kiddos, that you need to, if you have a cell phone or if you have a computer, Try to set everything in English, right? So, if you have your cellular, your computer, your tablet, try to have it all in English. So, que a la hora de este hacer un para para que usted le cambie el chip, verdad? Y usted va a aprender más rápido. Este es un tip. Ya le voy a dar otros tips más adelante. Okay. So, dice Brittany Davis is a es un es es una estudiante de universidad, college, right? So. Eh, ya le dije ayer, ¿verdad? Que Mike le dice, Mike le dice, what, what is your schedule like? What's your schedule like? And Brittany le dice, my classes start at 8 a.m. So I get up at 8 and take the bus to school. Luego le pregunta, when do, you, when do your classes end? Cuando terminan tus clases? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. Terminan al mediodía. Eh, por igual tengo un trabajo. Eh, en la librería, le vuelvo a preguntar el muchacho con el que está hablando so, when do you study? so, when do you study? alright, so cuando tú estudias viene, eh, when do you study? viene ella y le dice, my only time to study is in the evening from 8 till midnight, ok, so esa es una, se lo estoy traduciendo porque ya vamos a practicar, alright, so Luego le dice en la otra, Joshua, Joshua Burn, uh, Burns, right? So, es un website designer. Le dice, Mike, what is your schedule? What's your schedule like? Joshua le contesta. Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and I go for a run before breakfast. Me levanto a las seis y media de la mañana y uh, voy, por a, voy a correr, you know, antes del desayuno. Y después le dice, how do you go to work? Y él le contesta. ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo, vas a ¿Cómo te vas para el trabajo? Y aquí hay algo bien importante, uh, my, my kiddos. Every time that you see a question mark, you need to sound as question, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, en esta parte de acá, si dice, uh, si le pregunta, when do your classes end? When do your classes end? No le va a decir, when do your classes end, ¿verdad? No le va a decir así porque es como que esté solo, esté leyendo una oración simple, ¿verdad? Para que se le entienda. Okay, so in, in este caso sería, how do you how do you go to work? All right, I work at home as I work at home. I start work at eight a.m. Or I mean at eight around one. I take lunch break. So empiezo a trabajar a las ocho y alrededor de la una tomo mi eh, almuerzo. Eh, sí, mi almuerzo. ¿verdad? Entonces le dice, how late do you work? ¿Qué tan tarde tú trabajas? And then sometimes I work at, uh, sometimes I work all night to finish a project. A veces trabajo toda la noche para finalizar un proyecto. En, en sí, todo esto lo tenemos que entender para poderlo analizar. Now, let's see. Vamos a hacer la misma dinámica de ayer, all right? So, because I want to hear you participating in my class. Let's see. Where are you guys? No lo veo. Permítame. Se me han perdido. All right. Okay, Jenny Aníbal, be my guest, okay? Aníbal, be Mike and Jenny Brittany. Come on, let's go. Okay. 
What do you expect to like? My classes start at 8 a.m. So I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening from 8 until midnight. Thank you very much. Round of applause for you guys. Very good. All right. So Armando and Graciela, B, uh, uh, conversation two. All right. So Joshua Burns, web designer. Okay. Empiecen con esa. Okay. Uh, what's your schedule like? Well, get up. Six, six I am. Um, and go for a run before breakfast. How do you how do you go to work? I go at home. It's the work. And I eat. I don't want. I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes it works all night. Tonight project. Excellent. Okay. Very very good, very good, very good. Armando Floricia, uh, I'm in here, please be my guest at third, third conversation. What did you say? El, uh, el, la, el, la tercera conversación. Okay. And what's your schedule like? I work at evening. I go to work at 10 o'clock and play unit. 3 a.m. What do you after work? The chair. Yes. Se me borra la imagen. Va, ya está otra vez. Okay, go ahead. Eh, eh, what do you do after mm. work? I have dinner. Then I take a taxi home. What do you do? Go to bed. I go to bed at 5 in the morning. Very good, very good. Blanca and Jaime, please. First example, first conversation. Come on, let's go. Blanca and Jaime. Eh, la primera. La primera, first example, yes. Yes, eh, yes. Jaime, Iván. No me escucha, Jaime, Jaime. All right, go ahead. My class start eight eight to get at seven and take the bus to short. When do you when go when do your class class end classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a walk and the library. So I'm going to your story. My online time to start study is in the evening from eight on the midnight. Okay, give me one second. All right, let's repeat. Everybody, repeat. School. 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 Everybody repeat uh, library. 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 Very good. Hey, one second. Let's library. see. Library. One more time. Library. library. I'm sorry. Library. Library. Okay. Library. Okay. So uh, let's repeat library. job. 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 All right. So job. job. And let's repeat midnight. 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 All right. Midnight. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. All right. So, okay. So next, uh, let's see. Be my guest. Let's see. Let's see. Give me one second. We'll try to do this faster. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Now uh, you finish. Now let's see. Uh, Marisol, Marisol and Anderson, and Anderson, please be my guest. Segundo ejemplo. Come on, let's go. 
Paju. Paju. Schedule like. Eh. Schedule like. Very good. Well, I get I get at six. How much is it? Thirty. 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 Six thirty a.m. and two four afternoon before breakfast. Mm -hmm. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at eight around. One I take a lunch break. Mm -hmm. How late do you work? Sometimes I work. I like to finish a project. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, everybody, repeat. Ah, uh, work. 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 Very good, very good. Everybody, repeat. Breakfast. Breakfast. Everybody repeat. Uh, go for a round. Go for a round. Go for a round. All right, go for a round. Okay, let's see. Go for a round, and everybody repeat. Late. 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 Okay, late. You get to see late. All right, for a round. I mean, go for a round. Mm -hmm. And let's repeat project. 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 Okay. Project. So very good. Very good. Okay. So very good. Round of applause for you guys. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Let's see. Um, sir. Uh, Ronald and Jocelyn, please be my guest. Third example. For example, teacher. Third. The third one. Tercero. Special light. I work at night. I go to work at 10 o'clock p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to it? I go to it at six in the morning. Very good, excellent. Round of applause for you guys. Excellent. Uh let's see now. Uh Maria and Aníbal, please. Maria Wendy and Aníbal Martinez. Uh, let's... First, first example, please. El tercero. First one, the first one, number one. Okay. First one. Okay. Uh, what's your schedule like? My class start at 8 a.m. So I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the Library. So, when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening from 8 until midnight. Thank you very much. All right, let's repeat evening. Everybody, evening. 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 Excellent. A school. One more time. A school. 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 A.M. 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 Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now let's see. Uh, Wilfredo be my guest. No sé si ha participado Wilfredo. No. Okay, Wilfredo. And let me see. ¿Quién está más acá? And Ana Graciela. <clears throat> Segundo ejemplo, please. What's your uh, schedule like? Well, I get up. Deep, 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 deep. And go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work in a around one. I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work 
Perdón. Some type of work at night to finish a project. Thank you very much. Diana, be my guest. Very nice. Uh, good job. Diana and... Wait one second. Diana and... Our, uh, let's see. Aníbal Martinez. Oh, yeah, participó. Diana and Elmer Alexander, please. Third example. El tercero. <clears throat> Okay. What's your schedule like? I work at night. Uh, I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner. Then I take a taxi taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 5 in uh in the morning thank you very much okay I'll be run applause for you guys okay uh jenny guadalupe be my guest today with uh let's see uh okay can you mind that jenny and oh my goodness just ladies i have just ladies here okay jenny uh try to work with um Marisol already participate levantame la manita quien no participado please all right Jenny and Cecia please be my guest uh, third example el tercero uh young mike yes go ahead okay what's your schedule like Uh, I work at night. I go to work at uh, 10 p.m. 10 o'clock p.m. And I play until 30 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner, then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at five in the morning. Okay, thank you very much. Who else is, I mean, did I call everybody? Anybody that hasn't uh, participated yet? Anybody? Aníbal, ¿ya participó? Dos veces. Excellent. All right. Elsie Ramos. Elsie creo que no ha participado. Vamos a ver. Póngame ahí en, en el chat, por favor. Okay. Jacqueline and Elsie Ramos. Okay. Very good. Okay. Be my guest. First example, please. Jacqueline and Elsie. Okay. Go ahead. ¿Cuál de los tres? Eh, el primero. The first one. Okay. What's your school like? ¿Quién le va a ayudar a, a ella? Elsie. Usted es la que acaba de hablar, ¿verdad? Yo, Elsie Jacqueline. Ram oh, Jacqueline. Elsie, are you there? Hello, 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 hello. Okay. All right. So my classes start at 8 a.m. So I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. Go ahead. What do your classes in? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So when do you study? So when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening from 8 till midnight. Thank you very much. All right. So, okay, guys, uh, I just want to give you, I would like to give you uh, an advice. Every time that you are practicing English, all right, try to open your, your mouth. Yes. I have uh, one question. Go ahead. Uh, what's the meaning uh, until? Hasta. The meaning of until or until it's hasta. Por ejemplo, yo trabajo dice, my only time to study is the is my only time to study is in the evening from 8 till midnight. Desde las 8 hasta la medianoche. Okay. 
Very good, very good, very good, very good. Okay, so lo que les decía mis, uh, my kiddos is that every time that you practice, every time that you talk English, try you try to try to open your mouth. All right, trate de abrir su boquita. Por ejemplo, si si la palabra es clases, all right, or no, let's see, si la palabra es uh, library, all right, so como es nueva en su en su hard disk. All right, le va a costar un poco, pero dígalo fuerte para que usted empiece a, a, a pronunciar mejor. La primera le va a salir mal, la segunda le va a salir más o menos, la tercera para ahí le va a llegar, la cuarta le va a pegar, y a la quinta es ya para que usted agarre una entonación y así sucesivamente usted va a ir agarrando un acento bonito, ¿verdad? Pero no me diga, no me diga, y no me lo, no me lo tome a mal, ¿verdad? No me, no me diga así, library. No, si lo dice mal, pronúncielo. O sea, si lo dice mal, pero háblelo fuerte. Porque de eso se trata, de equivocarse. Si usted no se equivoca, o sea, siempre que, nos vamos a equivocar, para la redundancia, ¿verdad? If you make mistakes all the time, I mean, if we make mistakes, of course, next time is going to be better, all right? So if you said library, pero usted diga library, library. Así como dicen los niños, oh, papá, papá, ¿verdad? Papá. Y después dicen papá. ¿Verdad? Entonces usted dice library, 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 y después usted ya va a acoplar los, la pronunciación correcta. You did a good job. Yes, let's see. Buenas noches, teacher. Acabo de conectarme. Por... Ok, so we're going to pass list right now. Ok, so entonces quedamos claros, ¿verdad? Ábrame un poquito más la boca para pronunciar, porque estamos con problemitas con unos, ¿verdad? Que están... No, no están pronunciando bien y es porque no, no practicamos, ¿ok? So, pero este es solamente un consejo. Don't get me, don't get me wrong. Let me pass list right now and let me stop. Let's see this. Give me one second. All right. One second. Where is Rene Escamilla? Okay, right here. Okay. What date is today, guys? Today. Today, it's, uh, let's see, the A, right? Okay, I'm very good. Okay, so, uh, just uh, say hello, I'm here, or present, right? Not a problem, all right? Adriana, uh, Adriana Madej Ramirez. Present. Very good. All right. Okay. Let's see. Ana Garcia La Ramos Garcia. Present, teacher. Thank you. Anderson Jeremy Molina. Present. Thank you, sir. Armando Antonio Albanes Martinez. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Uh, Blanca Stephanie Vasquez eh, Vasquez Hernandez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Carlos Aníbal Martinez Ramos. I'm here. Very good. Cecia uh, Gemina, Gemina or Gemina Martinez Rivas. I'm here, teacher. Very good. Okay. Uh, Diana Patricia Carranza Paz. Present, teacher. Excellent. Uh, Elmer Alexander Ruiz Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Uh, Elsie Gabriela Ramos Majano. Creo que no vino. Elsie Gabriela Majano, uh, Ramos Majano. She's not here. Okay. Uh, Flor Floricia Mejibar Vigil. She's here. Very good. Very good. Uh, Griselda Raquel Estrada Landa Verde. Yes, very good. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Ingrid Esmeralda Cornejo Osorio. Present teacher. Thank you, miss. Uh, let's see. Isbel Araceli Beltran Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you, miss. All right, Jacqueline Janet Guzman Bonilla. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Uh, Jaime Ivan Ventura Castro. I am here, teacher. Thank you, sir. Let's see. Jocelyn Stephanie Bautista Suniga. Present teacher. Thank you. Karina Yamilet Gonzalez Pineda. Karina Yamilet Gonzalez Pineda. All right, she's not here. Uh, Carla Joana Martinez Platero. Present. Thank you, Miss. 
Uh, let's see. Kenny Guadalupe Hernandez Godoy. Present. Thank you. Uh, Maria Wendy Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss Marisol de Los Angeles Cortez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Uh, let's see. Sir, uh, okay, okay. Okay, Maybelline, Maybelline Lisette Ramirez Martinez. Maybelline Lisette Ramirez Martinez. She's not here. Okay. Ronald Alexander Rodriguez Posada. Present teacher. Yes, sir. And Ronald Vladimir Camayagua Maya. It's not here, I guess. Okay. Wilfredo Alberto Canacas Rivas. Here I am, teacher. Very good, very good. Excellent. And the last one, Jenny Guadalupe Martinez. She's here. Present. Very good, very good. Okay. Okay, guys, let's see. Okay, one second. Let me share this screen now once again. Hmm. Just a moment. Okay, we were here. Estamos por acá. All right, guys. Quiero ver, me mandar un mensaje aquí. Ya cerramos. Si está en clases. Si está en clases. Ya cerramos. Permítanme. Ya cerramos. Este chico dice que falleció. Me mandó a mí. No me ha quedado tiempo. A ver, pero pues. No, que esté para mí. Okay, one second. Just a moment. Elsie Ramos está acá, ¿verdad? Voy a poner ahorita antes de que se pasemos a la. Un momento, por favor. Elsie Ramos. Ok. Y Blanca. That's ok. All right, let's go. Sorry about that. Okay, guys, uh, what I was saying before is that we need to open, we need to open your, our mouths, right? So we need to, tenemos que abrir nuestra boquita cuando estemos hablando. ¿Por qué razón? Para mejor entendimiento. Acuérdese que la primera, y no es que, este, como le digo, no es que uno sea, o quiera ser negativo, ¿verdad? Pero tengo que ser, hay que ser realista, ¿verdad? La primera le va a salir mal, la segunda le va a salir tal, un po, más o menos, la tercera, Por la quinta, la sexta, usted lo va a decir mejor. All right? Pero abra la boca, ábrala. O sea, no, no me hable así. What's your scripture like? A word, night, a go, the word. ¿Verdad que no se oye bien? ¿Verdad? O como que yo le diera la clase así. O sea, es, es bien diferente. Usted va a decir, ah, because you, you already know, teacher. All right? You already know. All right? So, pero ese es un consejo, ¿verdad? Para que usted lo tome en cuenta. All right? Gabich, let's see. Let's go. Vamos a ver, aquí veo las tareas. Vamos a ver. Ok, let's repeat. Uh, knowledge check. Knowledge check. Knowledge check. Knowledge check. Check. One more time. Knowledge check. Knowledge check. Knowledge check. Check. Este es como... Como chequeo de lo que sabemos, ¿verdad? Chequeo de conocimiento, el, lo que hemos aprendido, ¿verdad? Entonces, the instructions, ¿qué dicen las, las instrucciones? The instructions says, uh, read, uh, yes, repeat, instructions. Instructions. Very good. Instructions. All right. All right. Uh, read, the, read the article, then number the activities, and each person schedule, select the number from one to five. Dice, lea cada artículo, luego, excuse me, eh, enumere las actividades del horario de cada persona seleccionado del número del 1 al 5. All right, so. Okay. So, I don't know if you already complete this part over here. Example. Mm -hmm. ¿Ya completaron esta parte? Sí. Okay, yes. all right, very good. So. Yo no lo entendí, all right, dice, lea el artículo, luego enumere las, las actividades del horario de cada persona, seleccionando los números del 1 al 5. El artículo es el, el artículo que acabamos de ver en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Que sería el anterior, ¿verdad? Mm. Que sería este, por decir el artículo de... O si no, nos vamos acá, me lo voy a poner más claro acá. All right, so, ¿cuáles son las actividades de cada persona? 
All right. So, por ejemplo, Britney. ¿Qué dice Britney? Ella, my classes start at 8 a.m. So I get up at 7, at 7 and I take the bus to school. All right. Mm -hmm. So entonces, usted tiene que ver las actividades que hace eh, Britney. Ok. Y esa la va a poner en... Let's see, one second. La va a poner acá. All right. Por ejemplo, aquí dice, vamos a ver, la, el artículo y enumera las actividades del horario de cada persona, seleccionando los números del 1 al 5. Entonces, este es el ejemplo. Britney Davis. She goes to class, what? ¿Cuál pusieron? Mm. ¿Mm? O sea, ¿cu ¿cuál, es, ¿cuál es el primero, el, prim el primero que usted enumera? O sea, porque ella dice, she, she gets up. ¿Verdad? She gets up at what time? My she classes is. start at 8 a.m., so I get up at 7. All right, so esa sería la, la parte número uno, el número uno, ¿verdad? O sea, va a ir enumerando lo que ella va haciendo de acuerdo a la secuencia que ella lleva en su uh, daily activities, all right? Pero le decía yo, si sabe que es secuenciar las cosas de una persona. Por decir, en mi caso, I, I get up at, sometimes I get up at five o'clock. I stay home thinking, all right? I, the first thing that we, that we do, en vez, de, en vez de darle gracias a Dios, lo que hacemos es agarrar el celular, ¿verdad? O sea, no sé, ¿verdad? Ya me decís, te háblame, señor, ¿verdad? Entonces, <ríe> agarramos el celular en we stay like this. Esa es, la, la primera me desperté, la segunda agarré el celular, vi la hora, la, apagué la alarma, me levanté, en esa es una, la secuencia, all right? De vez le decía yo, secu, secuenciar las cosas. Entonces, all right. So, entonces, el número dos sería, si take the bus. Vamos a ver si es cierto. Dice, when do you work? ¿verdad? Hay clases and take the bus. Es la segunda, es la número dos, ¿verdad? Aquí está, mire. And, and take the bus, all right? So, nos pasamos a la, al número tres. ¿Cuál sería el número tres? She, eh, she, goes to, she goes to class, all right? So, vamos a leerlo. And take the bus. When do your classes end? Day and at noon. Then I have a, then I have a job at the library. So, when do you study? All right, so... Si usted se fija, el número tres es, perdón, tres, she goes, she goes to class. El cuatro, ¿cuál sería? She works. Ya lo mencionamos. Y el último es que ella estudia. Entonces, lo mismo sería en Joshua, Joshua perdón. Entonces, usted mira el artículo, ¿verdad? Entonces, dice acá, Joshua Burns, what? Sería que él... He has a breakfast, he starts work, he eats dinner, he gets up, or he goes for a round. ¿Cuál sería la primera? De la cinco. Mm -hmm. He gets up. He gets up, right? Entonces sería cuál? Número up. uno. En esta, ¿cuál sería? Number three. Number three. Yeah, number three. Mm -hmm. All right, porque está aquí. Una, dos, tres. Una, dos, no sería la cuatro. Number four. Number no. three. Number three. Okay. Number three. Okay. Because si chequeamos aquí, vamos a ver. Dice Joshua. He gets up, right? He gets up at 6 30. The, the same thing. Mm -hmm. All right. So, y así sucesivamente usted va a ir viendo. No sé si la persona que me, me preguntó ya, ya se quedó más claro cómo es, es este ejercicio. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. Está más claro, ¿verdad? O sea, solo, solo tenemos que verificar el hora, las cosas que hace cada estudiante acá mm -hmm. y, y luego nos pasamos acá, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, dice acá, mm -hmm. o, no, o nos basamos en el ejemplo, ¿verdad? Para que quede más claro. Mm -hmm. Ok. She, por ejemplo, acá, nuevamente lo explico, ¿verdad? She goes to class. Entonces, eh, lo primero que acá dice es, she gets up, number one. All right, so tenemos que ir viendo lo que él va haciendo primero. Por eso le decía yo, he has a breakfast. Joshua has a breakfast, what? Mm -hmm. Hey, what about he start work? 
Sería number number one, number two, number three. ¿Cuál sería? Four. Four. Number four. He eats dinner sería number three, uh, number two, number five. Number five. Number five. All right. He gets number up. One. Number one. Number one. Number one. Number two. Number two. Number one. He goes for a run. Number two. Number two. <laughs> Easy money, right? So, okay, let's go with Maya. She has a dinner. We'd be three. number three. Number three. Okay, she, finish work. she finishes work. Two. Number two. Number two. Number two. Number two. And she goes to, uh, she goes, uh, she goes to bed. Number five. Number five. And she number goes five. to work. One. Number, number one. And she goes home. Four. four. Number four. All right, very good, excellent. All right, so, and then we just need to send this and uh, right away, okay. So, okay, now let me go ahead and send you to the breaker rooms. I'm going to send you to the breaker rooms. I want you to, you guys, uh, double check with your partner. Quiero que chequen con su compañero, su classmate. Uh, que le diga tres daily activities, at least tres o, o cuatro, ¿verdad? Tres o cuatro, yo lo voy a estar chequeando, okay? Tres o cuatro. Por ejemplo, si yo le pregunto uh, o me preguntan, ¿cuáles son sus daily activities, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Escamilla? Y le digo, ok, my daily activities is, ok, I, I get up at seven, I mean, at, at five o'clock. Then sometimes uh, I pray, sometimes I say, thank you God for another day. All right. And then I have to check my, my, my phone, my alarm. I have to check the time and that's it. And then I have to eat. I have to prepare my food. I have to feed my, my pets and on and on and on. All right. So, tres o cuatro cositas. All right. Understood? Se entendió? Yes. Very good. Everybody, levántame la manita. The like or the, or the no like. Si se entendieron. Please. Uh, No sé cuántos somos. Cuatro, nueve, dos. All right, let's see. Sir, yes, ma'am. I have a question. Go ahead. Este, de las que acaba de decir sobre, es sobre de las actividades que hacemos diario. Sí. Daily activities, daily activities. Mm -hmm. Daily activities. Simple as that. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, let me send you now. Acéptenme la invitación ahí, por favor. Ahí te lo voy a estar chequeando. All right, I will give you two minutes. Who's saying Ingrid? Who's saying Ingrid? Are you Ingrid? No, Blanca. Blanca, Blanca. Who's saying Ingrid? Blanca, Blanca. Okay. But I stop, but I'm going to move it for the 10. Okay. Accept the invitation, por favor. Ay, me siento está solo. Acepta la invitación, please. Floricia, acepta la invitación. Diana está sola. Una, uno, dos. Cuatro. All right.
Hello, everybody. So everybody's getting back, right? So let's see. Teacher. Yes. Hello. Hello, hello. Hi, hello. Hi. Hello, teacher. All teacher. right, all right. Everybody's getting back. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So, so. Fíjese que cuando usted me mandó la invitación no me la aceptó, me sacó de toda la clase. Mm, bueno, es que tenemos que ponernos eh, un poco, tal vez un poco más listos cuando se la tire, porque creo que como que se, se bloquea, no sé qué pasa en esa situación. Pero igual, no, no, yes, sir. Eh, yo sí la acepté y sí pude interactuar. Ahí, ahí. Ok, excelente. All right, so. All right, guys, uh, for tomorrow, uh, I want you to you guys uh, write, uh, try to write five sentences about your schedule, okay? So the ones that are working at this moment, I want you to you guys uh, please uh, write down, you know, así como le dije, sencillo, no es la gran cosa, pero esto es solamente para que usted esté, usted esté, usted esté practicando, ¿verdad? All right, so write five sentences about your schedule. Si no está trabajando, vamos a pretender, o oh, por fe, right? By faith, you will get a job and try to get your uh, schedules or the ones that you want. For example, I'm be, uh, I work from, from, from 8 to 5. That's my first schedule, right? My second schedule is from 8 to 10, all right? So, and that's what you need to do, all right? Write five sentences about your schedule. All right, pero cuando dice escriba cinco oraciones, es que usted mencione el horario. ¿Sí me explico? All right, acuérdese de eso. Aquí está, mire. Vamos a ver, le voy a hacer un cuadrito para que lo vea más. Este de acá, mire. Este de acá. Write five sentences about your schedule, all right? Are you an early bird or a night owl compared with a partner? All right, so... In this case, uh, this is practically the question that we're supposed to be discussing uh, through our breaker rooms, right? But we'll do it mañana. No worries, okay? So, cuando dice, are you an early bird or a night owl compared with a partner? ¿Eres un pajarito mañanero o eres un búho nocturno? Excuse me. All right, so... Entonces, esto me lo va a hacer usted, solo las cinco preguntitas, ¿verdad? Esto y esto de acá, all right? Is that clear? Yes? Okay. ¿Me estás escuchando? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Very good, very good, very good. Te lo mandaremos en PDF o... Como lo más sencillo que pueda, solamente esto solo es para, practic para que practicar, ¿verdad? Usted, está, usted tiene la plataforma como base, pero if you want to do it, Just do it, all right? So, si lo quiere hacer, hágalo. Y créanme que eso le va a ayudar bastante, all right? Quiero ver que me está hablando. No, yo no escucho, no sé qué pasa. No escuché qué va a hacer. Ok. Uh, Diana, yo le digo que mañana solo haga este cinco, estas cinco oraciones acerca de su horario. ¿Verdad? Acerca de su horario. O sea, aquí le pone el ejemplo, ¿verdad? Eso puede ser otra actividad, pero se lo voy a explicar más, más sencillo. Aquí le pone el ejemplo, si usted es un, una persona mañanera o usted es un, una persona nocturna, ¿verdad? Entonces, usted puede decir, yo trabajo de las 3 de la tarde hasta las 7 de la, de 7 de la noche. Yo trabajo eh, en, en, de, en ese lugar y tra, eh, trabajo de las 8 hasta las 10 o trabajo de las 12 de la noche hasta las 6 de la mañana. Entonces, por eso explica esto. Pero yo, para que no se confundan, solo quiero las oraciones sencillas, ¿verdad? Como le dije yo, write five sentences about your schedule, ¿verdad? Entonces, solamente que usted trabaja, ¿de qué horario a qué, tra a qué horario trabaja, verdad? Es, aplicando es, eh, la palabra schedule. Acuérdese de eso, okay? So now uh, we're going to pass another another topic. All right, let's see. Before we go. All right. Uh, let's repeat lesson adjective. Lesson adjective. Lesson adjective. Lesson adjective. Very good, very good, very good. All right, lesson adjective. All right, by the end. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about places and houses and apartment. 
Ok, al final de esta clase usted va a aprender, usted, ustedes aprenderán vocabulario para hablar sobre las partes de las casas y apartamentos. All right, so. ¿Qué fue lo que aprendimos en la clase anterior? Ahorita solo voy a hacer un énfasis. ¿Qué más? Schedule. What else? What else? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más hemos aprendido de la clase? Levantarse, la hora de tomar el bus. Uh -huh. All right. Vamos a regresar. Solamente quiero estar sabedor. Permíteme un momento. Uh -huh. Simple, simple preso en cuello. Uh -huh. eh, usando do y das. A ver. Déjame. Uh -huh. Acuérdense que le dije de que este yo vamos a aprender a que en esta clase ustedes desarrollarían habilidades de predecir y explorar, ¿verdad? Y secuenciar eventos. ¿Cuáles son las eh, secuenciar eventos? It's when you start explaining to me or anybody else what are your daily activities or why why you why you start what, uh, Yeah, why you are your uh, daily activities, you know, every single day, you know? So that's sequenciar, verdad? For example, let's say, all right, so I get up uh, at um, six o'clock a.m. Example, right? So after I take a shower, then I have to get dressed. Then after that, I have to go see what I'm going to eat. I prepare my food. I start working at eight o'clock, but before I have to feed my pet. And in the during the day, I have to prepare, I have to think about what I'm going to eat at lunch. Ese secuenciar evento, ¿verdad? O sea, voy secuenciando el evento de mi día. All right, so, y lo que yo le pregunto, ¿qué aprendimos es a, a los horarios? ¿Cuáles son los horarios? Por ejemplo, si yo le digo, hey, Jenny, uh, are you working now? Do you work, Jenny? No, I'm not. No, I, no, I'm, no, I'm not, right? No, I'm, no, I'm not. All right. So, okay. So, very good. Y si yo le pregunto, let's see, uh, let's see, le digo, uh, let's see, vamos a ver quién le pregunto aquí, que le veo de cara de trabajador, trabajadora. Vamos a ver. Wilfredo, are you working? Do you work? Uh, yes. Yes, yes, you yes, do. I work. Uh -huh. From what time to what time? What is your schedule? Uh, I start my work at 8 a.m. Till? Until? Very good, very good. For 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Very good, excellent. Round of applause for you. Diana, do you have a, do you have a job? Do you, uh, are you working before you start classes with us or not? Uh, yes, I do my practice at the hospital. At the, at the hospital, right? So from what time to what time? Uh, from? I get out five, five o'clock. And I'm going to start my practice at 7, 7 a.m. And I finish at uh, 4 p.m. All right, all right. So very good, very good. ¿Se entendió? Pero lo más fácil, lo más fácil, si, si cuando le pregunten así, lo más fácil es, oh yeah, si usted está trabajando o no está trabajando, usted me dice que tiene sus prácticas, ok, I have my, pra uh, my practice, my uh, health practices, I, I started at 7 a.m. to 4 o'clock, that's it, eso es todo, from to, from to, from to, okay. uh -huh. así, uh, precise and concise. To the point, al punto. All right, si yo le pregunto, Ana Graciela, do you work? Do you have a job? Perdón de que sea tan metido, ¿verdad? Solo quiero saber. Do you, are, you work, are you working? Okay. Work. Can, I, can you tell me from what time to what time? ¿De qué horas a qué horas? Of the teacher. Okay. I get up by in the end. I take a bus at 
Mm -hmm. I start starting work on the seven seven a.m. Seven a.m. Uh huh. Seven a.m. Till uh a five meeting. Okay, very yeah. good, very good, very good. You start working from seven a.m. till five a.m. five p.m. Very good, excellent, very nice. Just like that, very good, very good. All right, let's see. Uh, our, let's see. Este Flor Floricia, do you have a job? I mean, are you working? I'm sorry. From what time? From what time to what time are you working? Yes. <clears throat> ¿De qué hora a qué hora está trabajando usted? Disculpe que sea tan... 8 a.m. Ajá. I finish um, 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. From 7, all right, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Just like this, mire. All right, so... Para que no se me hagan bola, eso va para todo, ¿verdad? Si no se me hagan bola, next time, if somebody, if somebody is asking you, from what time, from, from what time to what time are you working? Still is, I am working from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. That's it. If I ask you, if I say, if, si yo les pregunto, ¿cuáles son sus daily activities? Of course, usted me empieza a decir, ¿verdad? O sea, porque de eso se trata, ¿verdad? Yo le digo, tell me your daily activities, all right? Probably one day, I mean, probably you don't have to explain everything about yourself. Pero imagínese, algún día llega tarde al trabajo y, y no, tiene, no tiene que decirle al, al, al jefe. Y viene el jefe y le dice, ok, ok, uh, Marisol, tell me your daily activities. Tal vez con, eh, tal vez con esta te creo. Tal vez con esta te creo. De tell me your daily activities. Y viene Marisol y me dice, ok, boss. I woke up around 6 o'clock. I took my bus around 7. It was a traffic jam. A lot of traffic. You can't believe it. And that's why I'm late. And I, after that, the bus... Something happened with the bus and police stopped the bus and it was a mess. Y usted me empieza a decir las, las, las daily activities que pasó en ese, en, ese, en, ese, en ese momento, ¿verdad? Pero daily activities, acuérdese que, son, acuérdese que son también las suyas, ¿verdad? Porque yo le voy a decir, ya me vas diciendo la misma, me vas diciendo la misma y no te la creo. ¿Cuáles son tus daily activities? Ok, me levanto a las 5, tengo que darle de comer a los perritos, tengo que preparar mi comida, tengo que comer, tengo que preparar mi comida y, y, y meterla a mi, a mi mochila, tengo que arrancar el carro. Tengo... Those are your daily activities, all right? So, but, but when somebody's asking you, hey, from what time to what time are you working? Oh, I'm working from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., from 8 p.m. to 6 p.m., y así, and on and on and on, all right? So, very good. So let's see. So that would be it. Do you have any questions so far, guys? Tienen alguna preguntita? Algo? Tenemos un, un minuto todavía. Dos minutos. Do you have any questions so far? Is that clear? ¿Se entendió el mensaje de esta noche? Yes. Yeah. Good. Yeah, so far, yeah. so far, so good. Yeah. All right. Very good. All right. So, so far, so good. Like this. So far, so good. Eso es así como que ahí más o menos, teacher, ahí, ahí medio, ahí medio le entendí, pero y este me hace sentir bien, ¿verdad? Pero eso es so far so good. So far so good. All right. So, and what else? Let's see. Entonces, mañana vamos a esperar esa actividad. Como le digo, if you want, you can you are able to complete it. If you don't, don't worry. Usted tiene suficiente con la, pl la plataforma, pero I want you to you practice every single day. Every single day you need to practice. All right? So, como último ejemplo, si no tiene con quién hablar inglés, agarre un espejo y véase usted mismo y háblese usted solo. Y dígale, hey, good morning. How are you? How are you, Jenny? Ah, oh, I'm good. Hey, very good. 
You look nice, Jenny. All right, thank you very much. Hey, where are you going? Y empieza a hablar usted, Jenny. Usted, María, usted, Aníbal, usted, Jaime. Empieza a hablar con su espejo. Ya va a ver que usted va a practicar. All right, so... Uh, any other question? Alguna pregunta relacionada a lo que vimos? Eh, tenemos just one minute. Let's see. All right. And remember to complete the platform. Complete the platform and that would be it. Okay, guys? I see you tomorrow. Practice and have a blessed rest of the night. Okay? Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Have a good, good night. Likewise. Good night, everybody. Likewise. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.